I want to talk to you now about how a person can be satisfied. Iron for anemia is easy and cheap and available, but people don't want to purchase it. We've seen it in many times where a nurse will say, here's the medicine and give it to the patient, even without a prescription, and then the patient will just set it aside. We do the same thing. We have the medicine and it's easy. When I speak about it, I'm sure you will say, he's not saying anything new. However, we have set this medicine aside. The medicine is here and it doesn't cost a thing. How can one be satisfied? Imagine someone like David. David wasn't rich. He was from a family that had eight children. It was a poor family. When you read the message in Samuel, when Samuel went to go visit Jesse or when Jesse sent a gift with David to, to give to King Saul, they were very poor. So all he sent was bread. He gave all that he could. If David wasn't rich and was the eighth child out of his siblings and they left him amongst the sheep as a shepherd, it should appear that he had neither security nor love. However, David was satisfied. One looks at him and wonders, where are his desires? David at this time was 16 years old with the sheep. He was the happiest person in the world. He slept under a tree and drank from a water jug or from the earth like the sheep did and ate whatever he could get because he would spend the whole day thinking about God. He felt that God was with him and carried him. All of this is apparent in the Psalms. The Lord is my song. I love my Lord, my strength. You are my portion. These are the words of someone who is living in love and adoration. We did not hear that David at this time in his life was worried about the future or was thinking about marriage or was craving youthful pleasures. What does this show? Someone who is satisfied. He is truly satisfied and he is in good health. It appears that he would have an amazing sense of security also. This security also showed when he stood before Goliath. At that time, all the strong men were shaking with fear, but David showed a strange level of confidence and security in order to stand before Goliath. You're not afraid he will rip you to pieces, David? Goliath liked to frighten him, and he said, I will tear you apart and feed you to the birds. He would scare him, it didn't occur to Goliath that this child would do anything. On the contrary, he considered it an insult. Who is this child that brought to me? David, in his confidence, said, This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand. And his hand could even, couldn't even hold a little bird. Despite this, he spoke with confidence, and this shows someone who is satisfied. The Lord is truly walking with him. He says to David, just as you say, David, I will do it for you. As long as you are with me and satisfied with me, I will make all your dreams come true. Goliath was killed by his hand, and every time David embarked on a new endeavor, it went smoothly. People began to like David very much. What did he have? He wasn't physically strong. He was not yet a king. Despite that, he was very satisfied. We want to be like this where one can be cured from the anemia of love and the anemia of security. People who are cured of this anemia don't need money to reassure them or people to comfort them or for people to check up on them. They are just happy as they are. Happy without anything and always happy. Who wants to be like this? We all do. We wish to live like this. As soon as something comes into someone's mind to worry them, they would say, the Lord will remove this. Of course, he is responsible. I know what he will do. All is well, all is good.